for the All Blacks and Los Pumas. World Cup gear kicks off in the foothills of the Andes. Mendoza the stage as Argentina and New Zealand clash in round one of the 2023 Rugby Championship. Kia ora tato, welcome in everyone as we bring you the first test in Argentina between these teams to be played outside of the Buenos Aires province. So a bit of history in the making and the Pumas will be after more as they seek their first ever win at home against a team that they've now beaten twice since 2020. Great excitement in this, the Argentine rugby heartland, Carl Tenana and Justin Marshall joining me in commentary. No, mate. Heidi, my good morning, good evening, wherever you are joining us for Sky Sports coverage here in New Zealand as we look at the New Zealand team, TJ. Yeah, a lot of manoeuvring. Dane Coles to start at hooker with Tyrell Lomax and Ethan De Groot. Josh Lord back in black alongside Scott Barrett and a loose trio of Shannon Frizzell, Artie Savia and skipper Sam Kane. A surprise for some, Damien McKenzie getting the nod at 10 outside Aaron Smith. Geordie Barrett and Rico Ioane make up the All Black midfield. And there's one debutante in the team, Chiefs flyer Imoni Narua joining Caleb Clark and Bowden Barrett in the back three. Plenty of proven firepower on the bench with over 270 test caps worth of experience in reserve for later on in the match. So interesting selections for the All Blacks. There's a lot of balancing to be done throughout this rugby championship. The Pumas, well, they've come from far and wide, scattered all around the globe. They've had to make a late change too, which we'll tell you about in a moment. They've had less than two weeks together as a full squad, but Michael Cech is upbeat, so too captain Julian Montoja. 85th test for the Pumas hooker and captain. Big, powerful and aggressive locking combination. Lavanini and Alimano. Some real class in the loose trio. Pablo Matira. Rodrigo Bruni and one of the stars of 2022, Juan Martin Gonzalez. 50th cat for Gonzalo Bertrano at halfback. Lucio Sinti moves into the centres. And the change is on the left wing. Sebastian Cancellieri, a late addition to the side. Little winger Matteo Carreras failing a fitness test late in the piece. Veteran presence on the Pumas bench as well. Former skipper Agustin Crevy. Matias Orlando and the one-time backline kingpin Nico Sanchez. Well, it certainly has been a turbulent last 12 months since the All Blacks stepped out at the start of the 2022 season. Series defeat to Ireland, followed by a loss to the Springboks, almost spelt the end for coach Ian Foster. Changes were made to the coaching structure some to the team and although they succumbed to the Pumas in Christchurch they ended up the year on a run of seven straight games without defeat this is their first appearance in Argentina since 2019 and the first time an all-black team has been in Mendoza since 1991 the Pumas a mixed bag in 2022 but scored two notable wins one over the all-blacks in Christchurch and the other at Twickenham over England which their coach would have enjoyed greatly. They've had limited preparation, many at the end of arduous campaigns in Europe. But Michael Checker talked during the week of a great sense of excitement as they look to complete the full set against the All Blacks. They've beaten them on neutral ground. They've beaten them in New Zealand. Can they do it in front of this passionate home crowd here in Mendoza, in Argentina? Fabulous reception for the home team, Carl Tenana, as they come out, and they will enjoy great conditions for the sort of rugby they want to play. Well, one thing's for sure, TJ, they'll be emotional. That's no doubt about that. The home side, especially in front with focal crowd. What a banger of a day in Mendoza. Perfect day to run. And now the teams will line up the All Blacks for the first time in 2023 to perform the Haka. Just a clarification about the late change. Bautista Del Gui is the man who's out Cancellieri in. And so Carreras is still there on the left wing as the All Blacks line up now for the Haka.
Kapo Apango. A great silence around the ground as the All Blacks perform their haka for the first time. And then the chants go up for Argentina. Angus Gardner, the referee, Nick Berry and Jordan Way, fellow Australians, his assistants. Brett Cronin is the TMO. But we will also there, have... I've got the all clear. You can okay. start whenever you want. Beautiful. A fourth official as part of the judicial process for reference in the Young, uh, event of a yellow right. card here today, right. which we'll tell you about as the game gets underway. But what a great setting it is in the foothills of the Andes. First test match of World Cup year for the All Blacks of New Zealand, the Pumas of Argentina. Black. Here we go. Okay, time on. And it will be Santiago Carreras to start the match. Big wall goes up as the ball goes deep into All Black territory. Where it's fielded by Jordy Barrett. And the All Blacks now just looking to set things up for a clearance. Scott Barrett carrying it up. And Damian McKenzie, whose kick is charged in the end goal. Arms go in the air and the referee... Well checked, this could be a sensational start for Argentina. The All Blacks really dallied about clearing the ball, and it could have got them into a whole lot of trouble here. Oh, they got to the midfield set, but the ruck speed wasn't quick enough. Aaron Smith stumbled a little bit, so by the time the ball got to McKenzie, he had huge pressure on him. The charge down, they're going to have to look at grounding. Who got their hand on it first, an Argentinian player or Damien McKenzie? Well, I think we're just going to look for a knock-on first initially from an Argentinian player. Oh, it's charged down. That's Materas. Oh, I think McKenzie's got there. McKenzie's got there. So, Angus, it looks like it's been grounded by Black there. It's been put in by White, so it'll be a goal-line dropout. Okay, goal-line. Goal-line dropout. So the All Blacks dodge an early one and take the goal line dropout. And there's Carreras starting on the left wing, the man who's been in such brilliant form for Newcastle. Leave him. Play up over the 10 metre mark. Go beyond Lavanini to Lucio Sinti, who moves into the midfield. Good early possession for the Pumas. They look to spread it wide. Carreras, he's a real danger man. He's got twinkling footwork. Montoya with the set, and they go back to Carreras. Just inside his own half. Kick out towards the wing. Contesting it and coming away with it. Caleb Clark. So good start for the All Black left winger. Put under a bit of pressure. Another carry from Ethan De Groot. Right they go. And big bump off. Good strong carry from Artie Savia. Turns it back and field. The new man, Imoni Narawa. His first touch of the ball is an All Black. De Groot hit hard in the tackle. Ball was out. Play on. The ball squirting out untidily on the All Black side where it's picked up by Bowden Barrett. Well, signs early on Step back. Step that, back. that suffocating Puma's defence that we saw particularly in Christchurch last year. Now the little chip downfield from Carreras, but it's nicely taken by Damian McKenzie. Barrett now sensing an opportunity to move the ball into space, but 
The ball not taken by his brother. And so it'll be a scrum to Argentina on the 10-metre mark. Well, quite evident of the line speed Argentina are bringing. All Blacks made a couple of little mini breaks there. Ruck speed is OK. But Argentina's mindset, very, very clear. They are looking to come forward and put ball carriers under pressure and stop distribution and, more importantly, offloads. Yeah, and at the source, too. They really can't a rucking. A couple of times, they nearly went through and exposed the ball at the back of the ruck for the All Blacks. But I like the way they started. They went long, and ever since, the All Blacks have been shut down in their own 22. A great attacking opportunity here for Los Pumas. Well, it'll be Gonzalo Bertrano in his 50th Test match for Argentina. Been out of action since January. He had surgery on a problem ankle. And so not a lot of game time at all behind him this year. Taken off the back by Bruni. And again, the tactic is to kick, but Damian McKenzie equal to the challenge. Running back, no great pressure on him, takes the mark. On signs early on that the All Blacks are going to have to be patient with this Pumas defence marshalled by David Kidwell, who did such a great job last year. I think it's just absorbing the emotion of the Pumas, especially in this first quarter, is going to be key for them. Boys, New Zealand, step off the gap. That'll be a line-out throw for William Montoya in his 85th test, but Scott Barrett getting up and challenging in the All Blacks. Winning a line-out steal. Rico Ioani sells the dummy, then accelerates over the 10-metre mark. Narua trying to get on the outside, nicely tackled by Carreras, but the All Blacks still have the ball. Coles with a little tip on. Shannon Frizzell is there, and they go inside the 22. Barrett away to Narua. Been in sparkling form for the Chiefs. Now a little punch up from Barrett. It's a good one. Coles is there, and Dane Coles scores the opening try. Great movement of the ball from the All Blacks. And they're first on the board. Oh, and it's a high-quality try as well. The breakout from Rico Ioane. Nice interchange of passing. McKenzie was looping around from depth. Just a little show and go from Ioane. Then his speed, which he's got plenty of. Outside to Narawa. They cut him down pretty well in both instances. He gets his hands on the ball. But his presentation of the ball was outstanding. Aaron Smith there, quick as a flash. Frizzell, nice little pop to Bowden Barrett. And then on the inside shoulder, the veteran Dane Cole still showing enough speed to get the job done. All clear, done. boys. All clear for me. Good. BC. All clear, mate. Well, it was that nice short pass that allowed Scott Barrett to breach the defence. And well finished off by Dane Coles, who, like Montoya, playing his 85th test match. First start in a test match for him in 20 months. Extraordinary. A miss from Damian McKenzie from close range. But the All Blacks lead it by five. Well, look at the way Rico Ioane, the defence just drifts, it's half from hole, and you can see he was looking for his right-hand winger straight away, but the tip-ons are something very evident the All Blacks have employed so far, and there was two of them right there. It might have taken just a little bit of sting out of the crowd. As Josh Lord pulls it down for the All Blacks. Confident start once they got their attack into gear. Bowden Barrett pumping it high down towards halfway, not taken cleanly, and it's been grabbed by Narua. He's got players inside him, fires it back in field. Shannon Frizzell is there, but now the ball's been lost. Penalty, though, and it's gone against Carreras, leaving his feet at the breakdown. Well, you said it before the game, Carl Tenana, give Narua the ball and things will happen. Yeah, and I think they've made a conscious effort, haven't they? The All Blacks to go to their right-hand side. He's been involved. Early doors, that's for sure. Jeez, he looks good too. And a couple of basic errors from Argentina. One defensively when yeah. they let Rico Ioane slip through. 
And secondly, not containing the high ball. The kick from Aaron Smith was a good one. They lost that okay, contest, went here. into the lap of Narawa. Front. And again, they just managed to pull him go. down, but not out of the woods yet. Line out, five from the line. Lord pulls it down. Coles, well, he's already got one. And they're playing under advantage here. An attempt to collapse them all. Coles has still got it. Edging forward now. Now Smith clears it away. Barrett, short pass away to Ioana. He was almost through. Savi awaiting for it now. Puma's having to marshal their defence. Scott Barrett stretching almost to the line. Now they're over, and it's Adi Savia. Well, this is a great start from New Zealand. Just constant pressure. The ruck speed, again, is very good. The width of Aaron yeah, Smith's first pass is getting past that third or fourth defender of Argentina, and then the little tip-ons, or a player getting in between defenders, is really helping the ability for them to keep Argentina pinned on their heels. Scott Barrett went really close. This is after good build-up. Players touching the ball. Savia had a touch early, and this close to the line. He wants another one. He's hungry, and he manages to get over on the chalk. Is in just timing, or just just never getting back to tight on never getting. Well, Damian McKenzie, who missed his first one from close range, all clear. Has a chance to make amends. This one just to the left of the posts. But a whistling from the crowd gets it very high and the ball again veers away to the right just not judging the win perhaps but there's two early misses for damian mckenzie the all blacks lead though by 10 to nil and i think it's the all black forwards making a statement early on in this game the quick tip-ons the nice hole running scott barrett has been an absolute monster for the start of this game Number two, that Barrett's one of the players having to back up from the Super Rugby final just a couple of weeks ago. Again, good work receiving the restart from Lord. Here is Scott Barrett again, who's just got such an insatiable appetite for work. Damian McKenzie, who hasn't had a great start to the game. He's had a kick charge down, missed two early shots at goal too. Now, Santiago Carreras decides we're going to get something going here. Here's Bruni. The number eight. He's well met on the 10 metre mark. And uh, got to play it down too. Looks like a Boffelli, the fullback, has been hurt. Carreras, again, they go to that wing where the sunshine is bright, but it's well met and taken by Bowden Barrett, playing at fullback for the All Blacks. And McKenzie. Moving it on. A nice control about the All Black performance and some lovely passing, and here's more of it. Bowden Barrett streaking down the left flank. He's got Jordy inside him, and he'll score. A breakout try. That's three inside the first 11 minutes for the All Blacks. A scintillating stuff, it really is. The ability to want to attack from inside their own 22, the All Blacks. Went down the blind side, Aaron Smith. Found Bowden Barrett with Geordie as well. He's got too much pace for the defender there. Again, brings the last line of defence in really well. Back on the inside to Geordie. They go back to back, 80 metres. The All Blacks on fire. I like the overcall from Bowden Barrett, though. Was supposed to go open. He called it the blinds. It was executed under pressure. Just slick skills through the hands and in the end, Barrett to Barrett. Oh, the Pumas having almost scored early in the match, just can't find a way into this game. The slickness of the passing, the execution of the movement from the New Zealanders in the early stages has been sublime. Damian McKenzie, this a more difficult kick than the two he's missed. time and as he judged this one he has 
It's a much better kick from Damian McKenzie. He picked the right man there, Aaron Smith. He missed out Caleb Clark. That got outside that last defender. From there, they only had two covering defenders, the Puma. And too many black jerseys. Look at all the support and the All Blacks waltz in. They are on fire, as I said at the moment. This time, restart. That was a little Advantage. shorter. And it's been knocked through by Argentina. Nothing there, boys. Oh, well yeah. tidied oh, oh. up by Josh Lord. Sorry, just a knock on there, boys. Off the kick. Scrum. And so we'll have last yeah. first scrum of the game. Yeah. Well, the problem is for the Pumas, the only time they get their hands on the hey, ball uh, is to boys, restart and kick off at the moment. Apart down. from that first 30 seconds, we've been scrambling at the moment, okay, so the All Blacks here doing good. Just controlling yeah, the tempo. Keep the break foots on, please. Right out, no, right out to the end. Yeah. Here you go, Marcia, you'll love this first scrum. Had to wait 30 minutes for it, KT, but we'll see how it plays out. Argentina, they have improved in this zone big time. It used to be a weapon for them decades ago, and then they sort of went off the ball, but now they've got a very powerful scrum. Plenty of interest in this first one. Who's going to get dominance early? Exciting player on the loose head, Ty Gajo. Keep it up. Do battle with Tyrell Lomax on the All Black tight end side, but that's a good first scrum from the All Blacks. And advantage. they've got the advantage. You've got advantage. They the can throw points. everything at it here. Rico Ioane scrapping his way down over the 10 metre mark. Smith, switch a play called by Damian McKenzie. Nothing really on. Don't know where they're, boys. Coming back. And Angus Gardner said it, Damian McKenzie going nowhere. And so they'll come back for the penalty. Uh, number three. Geez, that was good sign collapsing. from the All Black front eight at scrum time. White. Justin Marshall just speaking about how it has become a real staple of the Argentinian team, a real platform to launch uh, off. They had the attacking one. If you, if you want the All Blacks, earlier, nice hold there. Tell me, okay? Otherwise, I'll give you the opportunity to play. Well, the credit will go to Ethan De Groot on the loose head side. We were looking at the other side of the scrum as it went down, but that's where the penalty come. It came Lucio Sordoni. All Blacks win the line-out ball. You're only getting plenty of ball. Clark, well, the pass wasn't quite where Emoni Narua wanted it. Sails harmlessly into touch. Just a little bit of respite here for the Pumas who have been under fire. Thomas Lavanini takes his place towards the front of the line out. Montoya. Remember, they lost their first one. They challenged that one too. Oh, Lord did well again. Getting airborne, putting pressure on, but he just got a hand on it. They're really attacking them at the set piece. Jump the other side, Gus. I think there's a big reason why Josh Lord has been given this opportunity at line out time just to be that menace. He's good. Make sure they go, they don't come back out again, please. In general play as well. Well, he won't be suffering from any staleness after Super Rugby. He only had 120 minutes of action for the Chiefs. But he has made a terrific start to this test. Crouch! A worried look on the face of Bertrano. This is not the start they wanted. Bruni off the back. Bertrano sends it into the midfield where Sinti. It's been touched by a New Zealand player, that kick. Clark can't mop it up. The ball's going to sail over the touchline. In fact, hacked ahead, got, went out on the full. I think there has to come a time now. I know it's only early doors in this test match, but okay, just keep your gap, please, White. Argentina have kicked a lot of ball away already, and they've got no change from any of it. And the All Blacks have hurt them from even deep. They've got to think about ball in hand. Lord, it is. That line out time. Savia up to the 10 metre mark. There's a nice rhythm about this. McKenzie goes high. Almost looking into the sun in the first half. 
And all that's beautifully taken by Carreras. Santiago Carreras. Two men with that name in this Pumas team, Take not related. Well well, Alemano waiting for it on the left, but then a little shake of the head. They go behind him. Can they get something going? Trying to slip through was Mateo Carreras, the left winger. Oh, shot off the ball from Josh Lord. That's going to incur a penalty. Number seven. In fact, it was Sam Kane. And six. He's been picked up. Uh, num number eight. Was number eight. Come, please. Well, traditionally, this is yeah. well yeah. within okay. the range of Emiliano Buffelli. He I'm not can belt your the team ball. If you clearly push it into the black player, okay? Yeah, he was pushing it into the yeah. black player, okay? So just play the ball, okay? So just a little warning there about being okay, accurate from Angus Gardner to Captain Montoya. But yes, you know, he can kick it from here, no problem whatsoever. Argentina behind early in this test match by 17 points. Probably changed their mindset big time. Yeah, I think they need to, don't they? There's yeah. the tackle off the ball, but I think there was only one option. They know if they go up in threes, they're not going to stick with this all-black team. Absolutely. Not the mood they're in. Because it was Lord who actually made the legitimate tackle. Kane off the ball, and so here's a chance. Now, do they go to their drive? Used to be such a weapon. And they take it down. Montoya has it in the back. Had a little look. And now penalty advantage going to the home team. Scott Barrett emerges with it, but he's the man who's been penalised. Well, that was an interesting tactic. They are, they're out a bit further than what they're going to be now, but they went for the five-man line-out and got a drive going. Montoya at the back was the man... As you can see with ball in hand now, that was trying to orchestrate it from there. They go more traditional now. Chance for the Pumas to get some points on the board. Charging at the line, Matira. Ball's been lost through the hands, has he? Yes, it's been dropped. Lavanini was over. But the handling wasn't what it needed to be. And so the Pumas are denied. The yeah, two pieces of bravery here from the All Blacks. The first one was to chuck a man up in the lift. That's one piece of bravery, they lose it. Lose it. But the second one from Damian McKenzie making that important tackle there just to buy a little time. That was Bruni, the ball through his hands. Well, equally it was the shot from Lomax because Bruni was coming low, so had he even caught that ball, because Lomax went at that midsection, which is where the pass went, his area of catching it was compromised. Some really good tactical appreciation of where he needed to hit the ball carrier from Tyrell Lomax. Potentially awkward situation for the scrum here for New Zealand, right by the posts. Cuts down some of their passing options, so they look to power it up and maybe win a penalty, which they do. Well, already there's blow-ups in the Los Pumas front row. Gashaw, Montoya and Sordoni look straight at the ref, thought they had the way on in their scrum. They thought they were straight. You're right, TJ, it's one of the toughest places to exit. Right under your own post, but they get away with that one, the All Blacks. So they've survived a couple of challenges now on their own goal line from the Pumas. The early charge down. Then the handling mistake with the goal line at their mercy, so the Pumas still not on the board after 21, 22 minutes of the game. Oh, Frizzell couldn't reach it. An overthrow, and Bruni has it for the Pumas. Lavanini goes hard at Frizzell. Now Sordoni moves it on. Taken in the tackle is Matias Moroni. Keep working it away towards the left. Gonzalez 
He was one of the heroes of that win in Christchurch last year. Chance to get a bit of continuity into their game here at the Pumas. There's just been none so far. Now here's the danger man, Carreras, popping up on the right-hand side. It's storming onto it as Bruni. This is more like it from the Pumas. Lavanini is there. Wrestled to the ground by Lord, but now the crowd start to find their voice again. Montoya moving it on. Carreras to Sordoni, and the big tight head prop lowered. Just inside the 22, beautiful offload from Bruni, but fairly up into the line. Kane trying to get hands on the ball, but the Pumas clear, big pass out wide. Moroni barreled into touch. Excellent defence. Narua and Barrett denying him. Well, they went for the big Hail Mary pass, didn't they? It was so well constructed up until that point. Big fend, Moroni on Adi Savia. Not many do that. Really good line from Bruni. The offload as well. The short interchanging, the little punches tight were working really well. It was when they went for the big looper, it didn't. Quick line out from the All Blacks. Savia strong out of the 22. Yeah, they fired it over the back. And the mood they're in. They look like they're going to run it from every... Oh, Jordy Barrett almost sneaking through and losing his feet. He got into good position, but as he lost his footing, he continued to play. The boy might have hurt a hamstring in the process as well. It's uh, Matira. Okay. Just looks like it will be cramped more than a problem with the hamstring, which will be a relief. Number Big time, six. for not only not for the side today, right. but equally for Michael Checker, Pablo Matera. He is such yeah. an integral part of this side. He would not like to lose him. Yeah. Well, we all remember, it's interesting when Dane Coles got named in the team, because we just remembered yeah. the fireworks between the two of them, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Hamilton last year, and as it turns out, might have been more about I'll something there, Coles said rather Daniel than pushing. he did, which Matilda really didn't does like. have no a portion of it to play when Dane Coles is involved. One. He certainly didn't end with a handshake. One. And here is Coles. Frizzell, again, the target at the back of the line out. Geordie Barrett, who's run hard, strong and straight. And he's proving a handful. Sinti eventually gets him onto the ground. But once again, New Zealand has the front foot punching onto it. Bowden Barrett. Player not rolling away. So another penalty advantage. Bit of a loose one, but McKenzie picks it up. Has a look one way, then the other. Round the back he goes. Swings it away. Clark bumping off the first one. That's Cancellieri. Looking for a runner was Aaron Smith. Another tackle off the ball, this time the other way. I think it might be Ethan de Groot was Number lowered one. there. McKenzie trying a little chip through. Rebounds for Lord. Moved on quickly by Narua. But Barrett just couldn't reel in a, a low dropping pass. So they'll come back for the penalty. Yeah, it was a free play. They knew they had the penalty advantage. They went to the line out. They overthrew last time on that side of the field, trying the same move. They get it this time. And it was a nice setup from Geordie Barrett, backed up by... Some forwards come around the corner. Getting way over the Ivana's eye at the moment. Be interesting to go line out here, Marshy. I think they will. McKenzie's not finding it easy for some reason in these conditions. It's good to see a bit of wind around, so it's worth the gamble that close to go for the line out. They've been so efficient so far, the All Blacks, particularly in this zone around the ruck. Well, that was Gajo. Early and off the ball. Coles taken down nicely by Barrett. Really had to stretch for it, but they've got it set again. Alemano's tried to come through the middle, so they release it. Geordie Barrett now crunching into the midfield defence of the Pumas. Forwards lining up away to the right. Frizzell strong into contact. Now Caleb Clark comes in. He's lowered by Lavanini. Kane. Put on the ground by Moroni. De Groot. Got one in Hamilton last year. 
Now McKenzie looks out towards the wing with the kick. Barrett is there, Geordie. Clark trying to go around the outside and offload infield to Bowden Barrett. Knock on advantage here. It'll be a scrum New Zealand. Yeah, this might be a deliberate knockdown from one of the wingers, I think. All right, BC. Here we go. Yeah, I think it's a check. A this would have there. been try time on the inside to Barrett. Okay, so we're checking for a potential deliberate knock on. Yeah. Now he's referred this one to Brett Cronin, the TMO. There is a, a foul play review. A separate official in this match. Well, he's certainly stuck a hand out, hasn't he? I think that's more fizz than anything that his hand is actually. One sec, let me have a look. Just pass here on the inside. No, he's going in for the tackle. Yeah, he's going in for the tackle. Totally Not deliberate agree. for me. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah, Rodrigo He's Bruni going in for the tackle there. Is the man Back to me. Just inadvertent. Part of the tackle. No real relief here. No, well, and the thing now is mindset. Because the All Blacks yeah. have won three penalties through scrum, and now yeah. it's five metres out oh, from the line, straight, yeah. the yeah. Pumas will yeah. know yeah. that yeah. they have to keep square, every please. player on the scrum, including yeah. the Lucys, yeah. which then yeah. opens it up for Savia Smith, Klaku becoming from behind the scrum, all to get in motion because the Lucys will be slightly slower off the scrum. They have to stay on or they'll, they'll get pushed over. Yeah, you've got to commit, don't they? And that's what they're talking about right here, both sides. Like you say, that's the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. Well, Lucio Sordoni, the tight head prop. I feel he was just trying to put a little picture in Angus Gardner's mind there. He wasn't happy with that penalty down the other end of the field. Michael Checker passively watching on. Could have felt this was a very, really good opportunity to make a good start in the championship. You could just see Pablo Matera there. He was calling a couple of his defenders across. He wants Carreras to get closer to him, the 10, just to stop that gap where Xavier can go around him. Oh, he's got a full width of the field away to his right here. Aaron Smith has a little dart. McKenzie offloads it to Geordie Barrett. Trying to keep him up off the ground is Moroni. Now they've got to let him go. Pops the ball away to Frizzell. More defending coming up here for the Pumas. McKenzie pops it into space. Rico Ioane! Nice little offload from McKenzie. 34th test try for Rico Ioane. And the evolution of Rico Ioane in the 13 jersey. He made a beautiful break earlier on. Just see there at the line, the pre-line footwork gets him through the yeah, hole. Look. Nice try. Oh, Hit the angle perfectly. But look at the work of McKenzie. He takes enough depth that he's got time yeah, to bring yeah. that last defender. He's yeah. slightly lateral, yeah, yes, but call, he's got good movement onto the ball. All Rico Ioane needed to do was just stay committed to his line, which he did. Yeah, McKenzie all brought that ranges. last defender and put the pass in the hole, and his speed and his power was enough to get the job finished. Well, four tries for the All Blacks. And now McKenzie will line up the conversion. Right. He's found his radar now, a couple of early problems, but half an hour gone, and it's been all New Zealand, 24 to nil. What's a great point you make, Marshall, when you do go lateral like this, you have a guy who has to straighten, they have to straighten somewhere, and he does it beautifully into the hole. Good skills executed, 10-30. Enrico Ioane with that try, joins Mills Muliaina as the 11th, Highest All Black. Try and score it. One more, and he'll match John Kerwin in 10th. They go back to a deep restart. Geordie Barrett is there. There's just so much confidence flowing through this New Zealand team at the moment. Stay, stay. Back they go to Bowden Barrett. High kick, it's not going to go into touch. Clark up there to challenge. And eventually, Cancellieri has got it. Two knock-ons. Sorry, boys, two knock-ons. 
Well, he might have heard there the overcall from TMO Brett Cronin. He said two knock-ons there, first by New Zealand, and so they'll have a scrum. Well, it's good, it was good pressure from Caleb Clark because it wasn't a great exit kick from Bowden Barrett. He was under a bit of pressure, but Clark just put the hammer down, got himself into the area to make it difficult for Cancelletti and did enough. Yes, he knocked it on as well, but not giving up on the chase, turning a bad kick into something positive and making it difficult for the opposition. The All Blacks have been doing it absolutely sublime in this first 31 minutes of this test so far. Crouch! Stand up, stand up, yeah. Hey, yeah. Just, it's obviously, no, no, but you're touching him and it's putting him off, okay? So just, just wait till I call the line. Yeah, cheers, yeah. Sorry, sorry, pardon me. Yeah, louder, sure. Well, what can they come up with? They'll be desperate to get something on the board before half time. Just a bit of punch, I think midfield punch. We haven't seen Sinti or Moroni really in the game with ball in hand. I don't know if they're worried about the defence of Geordie Sinti. Barrett in this situation. Topped in by Vetrano. Carreras waiting for it. Again. Oh, boy, it's a scorching defence. That was uh, the skipper. The skipper, Sam Kane, who got a crunching tackle to force the error. Knock on was outside. Try to work something yeah. between outside. Cancellieri and Carreras. Just outside the and it all came to a shuddering halt. Just when I said, watch out for Jordy Barrett, watch out Let's for go, Sam Kane. Left his feet, He's right shoulder on, and absolutely nailed. Nailed Cancellieri. Cancellieri him. <laughs> Cancelled him, he did. There's been a lot of discussion. Who should be in that seven jersey? I think he just made a statement right there. There's the skipper. Statement. It was. Got off the scrum nice and quick because there was some width in that attack. They tried to hit that hole in between him and Aaron Smith, who had pushed out a little bit more. But Sam came with his experience, his knowledge. He got across, and not only did he just make the tackle, he made a turnover tackle. Well, it's a scrum, and we're in Argentina, so the crowd volume increases. But the All Blacks have had the upper hand at scrum time and here's another penalty and Sordoni is in all sorts of trouble on that Pumas tight head side we can tell obviously a lot of work a lot a lot of work has been going into that scrum for the All Blacks the man is showing up so far in 33 minutes they rattle at the moment big time Argentina they're making errors, they're getting penalties against them at ruck at scrum time. Their aerial work isn't great at the moment. They're getting beaten ruck speed at the breakdowns. They need to get things together real quick. Coles. And Lord. Once. Now transfers it to the back. Coles is there. Back on side. Back on side. Got a march on again here now, too. He's just holding a couple of forwards off. But. Well, they continue to march forward now. Smith or just got a bit awkward on him there. The scrum actually, uh, sorry, the mall collapsed. Now flying up Bowden Barrett, trying to make a tackle. And uh, it's another kick. Sends play down towards the All Black 22. It was the little winger. Carreras, he really just hasn't had a chance to shine. We know how brilliant he is with ball in hand, but just nothing's gone his way. Time off. Take a time off. We've got a boot. Time off. After the turnover, though, Marshall, I'm with you. The Pumas looking to kick straight away. They've had hardly any ball to What's attack, but they do have the players to do that. The guys you're speaking about, Sinti and Maroni, the key to that, they just haven't had any chances. There was a great chance for them there. I, I can't hardly remember us um, mentioning Buffelli. He's really got his hands on the ball maybe early. He had a little touch. A few of their key players just are not able to get into the game. They've kicked a lot of ball away, and their own errors when they've had ball in hand or the All Blacks putting too much pressure on them defensively has not allowed them into the game. They've been completely shut out. I mentioned Mateo Carreras there. He's just been in brilliant form for Newcastle, scoring tries where he's been brave enough to run the ball from his own 22. 
here was that early chance. Let's go forward on that side. Yeah. It was Damien McKenzie yeah. got back tidy up. The, turn. the mess. But really, they've only had two opportunities inside the 22. Haven't been able to take them the rest of the time. They have been on the back foot. And again, you know, let's think of the time they were in the 22 when the score was a lot better than what it is now. And they, they shelled the ball. Bruni couldn't hold the pass, and they gave it back to the All Blacks. Then they got bundled into touch. Well, Lord again, coming right to the front of the line out. Savia. As always. Fighting for every millimetre. And Alemano got stuck in there. Yeah, but you fall on that side. Yeah. Number four. It's one of their no, tackling no, techniques they're very good at. They go high on, on the ball, side. and then they, a lot of the times they end up on the opposition side of the ruck. Five in a row, two of scrums. Because your blacks had numbers at their ruck, there's no way Alemano could get out of it. And kick sails out just short of the 22. Going to need to be careful as well now in this zone in particular. They've got five penalties against them on the bounce, Argentina. They will start to be looked at. Well, down the back, all black line out functioning well. That time it was for Azel, and again, the direct hard line of Geordie Barrett, but storming through the middle of it, pinching it as Bruni for Argentina. And again, they kick Moroni that time, and he sends it out on the fall. You went back, it's fine. Did I say rattled? <laughs> they are in all sorts at the moment. They have no rhythm, do they? And that's the thing. You finally get a nice turnover from your yeah. number eight. He's got there. And then he kicked the ball away. Well, all the All Blacks are up because they were on the tap. So the back three would have to scramble back. The kick just needed to be in play. It went out in the full. Well, you expect more from a player of Matthias Moroni's vast experience. Now they go down the short side through Shannon Frizzell, who's carried the ball strongly. Cole says, I got this, Artie Savia. His Hurricanes teammate is there to carry it on. De Groot now. Another black wave coming towards the Argentina line. Matty Savia trying to fight his way through heavy traffic. Even he can't get through that lot. But here's Frizzell again, getting the ball in his hands at every opportunity. Sam Kane now taken in the tackle by Lavanini. And penalty advantage. McKenzie calls the switch to the left. Clark is there. Can't get through the tackle of Cancellieri. But they're lining up again for the All Blacks. Scott Barrett. Geordie Barrett was looking for a run. I'm going to take it up another couple of notches through the forwards. Nothing there. And here's the double blast. I'm on the ball. They come through the side. They hit my knee. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Yeah. Look, I look. pull it up. I understand what you're saying, but for me, you were never supporting your body weight at the start, OK? You're too long and your hands are on the floor, OK? And then you went off feet, OK? okay. Now, there's a couple on the bounce at the tackle now. Okay. So if we have continue to have ones at the tackle. Can I say one thing? Yeah. I, I know your point. Yep. There is no consistency. OK. They go punch on the floor. Yeah. It's the same. Playing, but, but for me, for okay. me, you're killing the I ball. Get, but I get it. You get but my point? Thank you. Case. OK, speak to you guys, please. Yeah, Thanks, Julian. I love the way he says, I hear what you're saying. Thank you, guys. But he, not really. <laughs> I think this is an interpretation for the Northern Hemisphere referees and the Southern Hemisphere referees. As soon as you go to deck here in the Southern Hemisphere, you've got to get, leave their ball alone, whereas in the Northern Hemisphere, you can slow it down. They give you a bit more way, I think. So that's something Argentina need to adapt to. He's going. I think that's it. Dane Coles to a line out five from the line. Frizzell, who's done some really good work down towards the back of that all black line out. Coles, he's got one, he's looking for another. Player in the side. This could be a yellow card coming up, could be a double whammy. Coles. Pops it away. Aaron Smith has a go. He's in. Number eight in the side. Too many infringements. And a yellow card no. to boot for Rodrigo Bruni. 
Oh, wow. Double blow big time from Argentina. They gambled on the line-out throw. They threw Lavanini so you know up from that point in time. time. They were always vulnerable. The All Blacks' yeah. momentum Sorry, started going forward, and Dane Coles was yeah. in control. The only way they could stop it or negate it was illegally, so they were under penalty pressure. Aaron Smith, quick um, as a flash, slightly dummy, time slightly time dummy to the outside, pounced on okay. it, and they lose a man to the bin. Yeah. Argentina, it just gets worse. Absolutely ruthless from this All Blacks forward pack. Nice head. Execution at line out. Great drive. Kept their composure and just flex their muscles. Well, Coetis wasn't happy, felt that the referee got in his way, that there was no way he was going to tackle Aaron Smith. Damien McKenzie with this kick has a chance to bring up 30. Time almost up in the first half. Just sneaks the kick inside the line of the left hand upright. That's half time. Well, against a challenging backdrop, the All Blacks could hardly have hoped for a better start to the rugby championship. They lead Argentina at half time by 31 to nil. Mendoza is wine country. Some of the finest Malbec grapes in the world come from this part of Argentina. But the first half has been a pretty good vintage from the All Blacks. They lead by 31 points to nil, shutting out the Pumas in the first half. Five tries to nil. Only on two occasions did the Pumas threaten to score. The first from a charge down, which was saved by Damien McKenzie. The second, a drop pass with the line begging for Rodrigo Bruni, who finds himself in the sin bin late in the first half. Imagine what the talk was in the All Black changing room at halftime, Justin Marshall. Well, they would want to just continue doing the things they did so well in that first half. Set piece was excellent. The balance between Barrett and McKenzie as first receivers was outstanding and the pressure they put Argentina on, they'll just be wanting to con c continue that. Really interesting, just heard it in the referees, Mike, Aaron Smith talking to Angus Gardner, talking about the glare in the sun. He said, I've never experienced it like this. It's almost like maybe playing a club rugby game at 2.30 in the afternoon. He said, it is very bright. Um, so maybe that's a factor for the All Blacks and why Argentina struggled a little bit in the first half with, that, just out of the uh, aerial, just with the aerial problems that they did. Well, you think about the weather conditions he's been living in in New Zealand for the last couple of months. A bit more cloudy, yeah. TJ, and what slightly about, colder. What about Michael Checker, Carl Tanana? What does he say to right. the Pumas to get themselves right. back to some sort of semblance that they're in this game? Yeah, I think he's just saying, we've got to park that, you know, we've got to restart and go again. They do have threats once they get into their game plan. We spoke about it in that first 40 minutes. They're taking a long time to come out here. But they've got, got to get rid of those mistakes. Got to be a lot more accurate and keep their discipline. Equally be more positive with ball, ball in hand, you know, they, their last resort should be to kick the ball away. I think it was their first resort in, in that first half and they just gifted the All Blacks, piggybacked them into the game. They've got to be more ruthless with ball in hand and get some of those expressive players into the match. Yep. Got okay. nothing to lose now, why not? You good? Okay. Tom on. The All Blacks will have to deal with the sun in the second half. But it's been a glittering performance so far. As the ball is sent down, Matteo Carreras, who just had no chance to show his magic in the first half. And Lavanini in possession. They look for an exit. And Carreras does well. But he hasn't put the ball into touch, and that's just inviting Damien McKenzie to cook something up from the back. Caleb Clark made a couple of bumping runs. Scott Barrett nicely passed on to McKenzie. Kane now stretching through the first tackle, taking the ball down to the 22. All Blacks looking to start the second half where they finished the first, but 
Mackenzie not able to take that pass, looking for a wraparound. Still a man in the bin for Argentina. And I guess that'll be the first task, is to ride out that period. Well, again, massive pressure on the kicker. He did really well, Carrera, to get the kick away. Big opportunity here. Both Carl Tanana and I jumped out of our chairs just previous to McKenzie getting it. Bowden Barrett was in the clear. Sam Kane decided not to pass it, didn't he? We were like, give it! <laughs> Come on, Skip, keep your ears open. He saw the hole, but oh, man, all the early signs from Argentina have to be accurate. Scrum time, let's see if they've changed their mindset. Well, we're going to get a look in the second half of this battle on the all-black loose head side where Boys. Ethan de Groot has Boys, been you know you can't, you dominating know you can't Lucio Sordoni. Here, okay? Please, please, li lift of each other, okay? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Guys, it's, it's, da it's dangerous. Yeah, it's... Yeah. This information that they should have been giving Argentina is they're good today. They're solid. They are causing us problems. Let's change our tactics. Let's concentrate on the hit. Good, steady, strong hit. Quick hook. And let's get rid of it. We don't want to scrum them today. Let's take Crouch. that out of the equation. Let's see if they've thought or talked about that at halftime. Set! Retrano. 50th test hasn't been a happy one. Big scrum powering up from the All Blacks, but really nicely taken off the back. Well, that is what you've come to expect from Pablo Matera over the years. Defiant. Trying to get something going for his team, but the kick's gone ever nicely taken by Buck. Barrett has been knocked away though by Juan Martin Gonzalez. Bit of excitement in the crowd here. Oh, Coles feels like he got back to it first. Doesn't really matter. Sinti was tearing after it, but they'll come back. Juan Martin Gonzalez knocked the ball on in the tackle. You can see the mindset change though from the Los Pumas first as the run from the number six, Pablo Martera. And then backed up after that with that kick and chase. Yeah. Bit of a shove then, an air shot yeah. from Coles. But he was back there, TJ, and I think that's been the difference today, the mindset of the Obelix. Look at him there, working hard to get there, and even getting in a position to challenge. There's a tackle of Juan Martin Gonzalez. Yeah, there we go. Where he got his, not intentionally, got his hand in the wrong position, which knocked and propelled the ball forward. So the chase was irrelevant, but you're right. Good to see Dane Coles back in an all-black jersey for the first time, starting a test in a long time and put it in the big strides. Yeah, not since the final match of 2021. Crouch. 20 months ago, Dane Coles. Five. The last time he wore the number two jersey Six. into the Six. test arena. Keep it up. Now they look for the second shove. Hard for the Pumas, they're down a man and inevitably the advantage comes. They've been able to win penalties when they feel like it at scrum time, the All Blacks today. Standing up. Wow, that was a really good angle to reinforce what you've been talking about, TJ. The work of Ethan De Groot on that Lucid side for the All Blacks against Lucio Sordone. Wow. That was just raw power on that loose head side yeah, for the are. All Blacks. Yep. They had not a chance once that momentum started going forward. Well, that's one of the fascinating subplots of this all black selection jigsaw puzzle as the kick sails over the touchline that the progression of Lomax and De Groot in the last year or so and the heat that they're putting on the two men who are on the subs bench today Tonga Fussy and Laulala for the starting positions sure. remember Gasho and Sordone are no mugs yeah Sordone a man who plays for Gloucester in England Scott Barrett this time wins the line-out. Flat ball to McKenzie, steps past the first tackle. Thought about the offload, went to ground. Frizzell now, five metres out, right out in front of the posts. Here's Coles. All Blacks hammering away again. Rico Ioane almost slipping through the tackle of Sinti. They'll take it back the other way. Yeah, illegal clean out by the All Blacks at the ruck close to the line. Number four. It's gone Nick against Rowe. Scott Barrett. I think there's a very clear directive 
in this new all-black pattern and game plan to get Damien McKenzie flat. He is playing so flat. Aaron Smith is basically just firing it straight across. And all the runners are coming off McKenzie. It's making it really difficult. As a defender, you have to make a decision so quickly when a guy is at you on that advantage line. Well, Dane Coles departs. Good effort, Colsey. Well, they've had some trouble at line-out time. They have the Pumas, but they've got that one. Advantage in the side, number four. And Scott Barrett, well, it's two penalties in a row against him. In the side, number four. So Carreras has a chance now yeah. to put the ball deep Look, where are you getting it wrong? and have another go at getting some points on the board. It's breaking away and you're finding yourself on the outside. Once you're on the outside, you cannot change your bind. Does that make sense? Yes, it is the technicality and explanation from Angus Gardner. There's a couple of times Scott Barrett has been caught on the outside. He's saying it's broken off right there. You can't change your bind. You have to stick where you are originally. Oh, the line out, 16, 17 metres from the line. The All Blacks have been quite happy to challenge the line outs inside their own 22. Boomers have got it. Betrano put on the ground. Sordoni goes in to clear it. Lavanini with his mate Alemano right on his shoulder. All Blacks looking for a counter ruck here. But it emerges for Montoya. Betrano sweeps it away. Sordoni now. Carreras waiting for it. They go beyond him to Sinti. Taken by his opposite number, Geordie Barrett. And the All Blacks have won a turnover. That's some great work. I think it might have been Shannon Frizzell. <laughs> Geordie Barrett involved as well. So the All Blacks able to scramble it away. In fact, it's an all-black throw. Cody Taylor on for Coles. McKenzie. Sends it long. And uh, that's a good clearance from Damian McKenzie. No, it's a great exit. But you're right, it was Shannon Frizzell with a turnover. Man, he's turned up today the number six. There's some strong runs. And there he is doing some dirty work. Oh, Hardy Salby, is it? There it is. Number eight. Go. Yeah, it was two. Uh, Montoya. Still down one, but Alemano secures it. Breaking away with it is Gonzalez. Petrano. We'll try and get something going. Getting Martira running onto the ball. Advantage, three black offside. This time, oh, Lomax. Penalty advantage applying. So just a little flurry of penalties going the way of Argentina here as they get a bit more possession. Lavanini. It's got advantage. All Blacks will have to be a little bit careful if the penalties start to mount up. Don't want to lose the momentum. Carreras. Drinking run, gets it away, Gajol, powerful with ball in hand, the offload, Bruni is back on the field and making a storming run down to the five metre mark, here's the big chance now for the Pumas, Rico Ioani though, read it well, had to release, the ball's still there for the Pumas, Sordoni takes it around the edge, flicked up by Bruni, Alimano put on the ground. Lavanini now. Lomax trying to bring him to ground. All Blacks up against their own goal line. Matira. Bruni looking for it. He's got Lavanini away to the left. Another advantage going the way of the Pumas. Adi Savia trying to fish it out of there for the All Blacks. Cleaned out by Alemano. Now they clear it away. Carreras. They go wide. Cancellieri stepping. He's taken into the tackle by Cody Taylor. Yeah. 
Now the referee's going to blow the whistle here. There was a knock on, and so they'll have to go back for the penalty. Number five. But it's an outstanding breakout from number eight, Rodrigo Bruni. They got the Pumas into this position from there. They just went basically one out and tried to batter their way over. The All Black defence was equal to it, albeit illegal. So now under penalty pressure themselves, the All Blacks have conceded the last four penalties. They'll have to be very wary of that. Are we going to see a quick tap? Yes. Gajo over the ball. Thunders towards the line. He's just short. Ali Manu picks it up. He's got it on the line, has he? Or is he just short? Referee's playing advantage again. Well, the All Blacks could be about to lose someone here. Are they about to concede the first try of the match? They are. Soldoni. Well, he hasn't had the best of times as ruck time, but the second half, they've come out with new intensity, haven't they? This Pumas team, the dominated territory, put themselves in great position. Forced ill discipline from the All Blacks. The pass from the skipper to his front row for a teammate over. Right again, just nice and direct and straight. Went close a couple of times, and then the skip gets his hands on the ball. Montoya reaches out. You're allowed that one dynamic movement, which was good enough for him to get the ball down. Argentina find themselves on the board. Well, 52 minutes into the game, and Emiliano Boffelli finally presented with a chance to kick for goal. They took the tap. They got the result. But the kick misses. Difficult end of the ground to kick by all accounts, that one. So Boffelli misses, but here's the try again. Ali Manu was very close. Thank you. And then Lucio Sordoni, the man who plays, say, for Gloucester, playing his first test in over 14 months. He's had a succession of injuries. And he's back and he scored a try, and at last the Pumas are on the board. What will that do for their confidence? Over their big man, Martira, then Lavanini to create some space. And it looks like they've got Nico Sanchez on the field. That's not a great start. That's an awful attempt at a clearing kick. Ball goes out over the touchline. There he is, Nico Sanchez in his 96th test match. But that ball's gone out off an Argentinian hand, and so straight away the All Blacks get a chance to hit back. Yeah, they made a couple of changes too. Looks like Ofatuma Fassi's onto the field and Tupovai in 19. See the 17 jersey there, and Vai straight into the action. Well, Cody Taylor now taking over as hooker. Get ready to use it. Released by Aaron Smith. McKenzie, the wraparound, the pass from Geordie, gets it away to Bowden, the Barrett brothers. Clark tracked across in support. A bit more fire coming into the defence of the Pumas, and they've turned it over. Chance maybe to break out, but Boffelli, he's cut down close to the touchline. Punching onto it was Orlando, but the ball's been lost forward. Yeah, I get it. They're chasing the game now, Argentina. But they did really well to get the turnover. Outstanding tackle on Bowden Barrett. Carreras, I think it was, that brought him down. They managed to get the turnover. Yes, you've got to have the mindset to attack when you're this far behind on the scoreboard. But after good defence, again, all the All Black players were up in the line. We saw Bowden Barrett, the fullback, being tackled. Probably the kick was the better option. Get some territory, get out of the zone. The mistake means... They've still got to absorb pressure from a very dominant All Black scrum in a difficult part of the field. I think that's the thing Michael Chick has been trying to work on with him, making those right decisions at the right times. Okay, guys, game speed. On the bind, please. Break foot's out. Get the break foot so out. those changes for the All Blacks talking with Fassi on for De Groot at loose head. And Josh Lord makes way for Tupolvai. And what a very good return it has been for Josh Lord. Set. 
First appearance for him since 2021 and hardly put a foot wrong. Very good in the air. Now the All Blacks are wrapped around again and Volley McKenzie accelerating into space, clears it away. Barrett, Bowden Barrett's in. Super slick. McKenzie with his depth and his speed. Argentina, as I said, if you're going to give the All Blacks possession in this part of the field, you've got to defend yeah. well. Really nice decoy right, run so from Rico Iwane. Narawa and McKenzie had depth, but Narawa wasn't needed because the work of McKenzie to get around those last okay. two in, and in between those last two defenders okay. put Bowden Barrett with his right. speed Thanks. into the position he needed to, to finish it off. That's all about isolating the outside centre on D-Mac running at full speed, finds a whole time and the pass was brilliant. That is a great yeah. set-piece try from this all-black outfit. Well, they've been looking for that little wraparound move through the match. Hasn't always come off, but that time it was silky smooth. 40-second test try for Bowden Barrett, but this man, well, he was the creator. The searing speed once he saw the space in front of him. Well, it's the two direct runners first. So the two direct runners held the defenders, and Damien McKenzie's strength, without shadow of a doubt, is his speed and his ability to beat defenders laterally. He, he just brings them in, he gets around them, he goes lateral, and that move was tailor-made for him. Now the kick from wide out from McKenzie and just away to the right of the post as he looked at it. 36 to 5. So the Pumas try cancelled out by this lovely strike here. You watch the outside centre, he jams in right there. There's the hole, the wing is compromised in that situation. This is all set up actually from the first half with Geordie Barrett making a number of runs, having Rico Ioane short and they've been hitting him. That time they go out the back door. Here's Geordie Barrett and sending a long kick down to the 22. Carreras is still there. So they've juggled their back line around. And that's easy for Bowden Barrett. Getting the run at fullback. There's a lot of talk about the makeup. Remember, Richie Maunga is on the bench. Hands. I can feel the frustration yeah, here from on. the skipper, Julian on the ball directly, not hands on the ground. I thought he had this pill. Please, please, Julian. And he's blowing up too. I, I'm trying Deluxe. to work with you here. To okay. Angus Gardner. It has been a very frustrating hour of test rugby for the Pumas captain. Barrett, look at the breeze at his back in the second half. You're going to get prodigious length from his yeah. clearing kicks. Here it is again. Yeah. Okay, thank, thanks, mate. But thank you. Yeah. The other thing is fine. There's it's nothing fine. wrong with yeah. that. No, it's fine. He's been hard done by there. Might have been the hand on the ground that Angus Gardner was talking about that he wasn't having. Now, Geordie Barrett tries a little chip over the top. That's awkward into space. But it's been nicely read by Carreras, who's gone back out to the wing which is where he really started in Test Rugby. Gajol with the carry. No. And use. And Bertrano and puts it into touch. It's not much of a clearance, though, really. Well, a lot to ponder. Still got 20 minutes to play here, and then the match in Australia. But, well, they've stolen a line out here. The Pumas, there's a roar from the crowd. A good, strong run from no. Lavanini. Saw Sam Kane off, no uncertain terms. Now Sanchez, little double pump. Sinti moving it on. Orlando. Real veterans out there now in the second half coming off the bench. And one more to come to, Agustin Creevy. Here's pass away from Sanchez to the try scorer, Sordoni. Now Boffelli looks for a kick and is going to roll it into touch inside the 22. Ball still live. Five and four. 
Just hold him. Yeah. Which number's for black? Just hold him, Jordy. Stop, boys. Still time off. Boys, are we done? Okay, we're done. Okay. Time on. Don't shift. So some Don't changes shift. being made. Looks like Gonzalez might have departed. Lavanini, his day is done. Managed to get through this one without a card. That's uh, a miracle. <laughs> Rubiolo <laughs> on a 19. Grondona in 20. Another kick charge. Very shallow in goal here. That Go one's on. going to roll dead. It'll be a goal line dropout. Sorry. It looks like Richie Moore is on for the All Blacks yep. and also Nepal Olara. It's, it's come it's, on to the field as well. From the field of play, 22 guys. So all new front row for this All Blacks. And Finlay Christie made his way on. As you were, it's a drop out from the 22. Don't see so many of these nowadays. Moonga. And Sanchez. Boffelli. As Justin said, really hasn't been able to get himself into the game. Oh, what a threat he can be. Oh, Carrera straightening it. Gajo on the offload as well. Montoya heads off, ball clasped in one hand. Petrano swings it away to the left. Nice pass from Gajo. Playing with a bit more rhythm in the second half. But facing, well, an incline about as steep as the Andes Mountains in the backdrop. Shannon Frizzell making the tackle. Petrano there, working away, trying to get the ball over the halfway line. Here's Rubiolo. Yeah, well done, 19. One of the bunch of Pumas playing for the Newcastle club in England. That ball yeah, ricocheting on. away off. Caleb so Clark, so it's still Puma's possession. Ali Mano is there. Here's Matira. Again, ball in one hand. Pops a nice ball away, too. Petrano. Here's Montoya taking it to the line. Thought about the offload. Geordie Barrett trying to get hands on it. Good thumping tackle made by Finley Christie. Referee, well, the ball went loose, but he says play on. So Christie there and 21 on for Aaron Smith. He had a very good hour. And Puma's having to be very patient here. That trying those short tip-on passes forward to forward. They're slowly making progress now. They look to go wide. Orlando spreading it. No way through for Carreras. That's Matteo Carreras. Sanchez goes in to clear it. Now Sanchez again. This time trying to get some width on it. Here's Boffelli almost lost it. Jordy Barrett got in there, got hands on it, wins a penalty. And happy with himself. Geez, that was a great period of play from Argentina, but the defence, you have to give it up to the All Blacks, keep it in their system. Okay. Everyone's oh, covered sorry, on the inside. They know the footwork. Okay. But look at the numbers of black jerseys around there. One, two, three, four. And then Jordy Barrett being strong over the ball. Yeah, they're punching. They got over the advantage line nicely a couple of times, Argentina. They tried plenty. Matera running with the ball in one hand, looking to pop, looking to offload, pick and go. Then they tried some width. But as you mentioned, the All Blacks Number defense nine, was um, more than right. equal to it. Number nine. Uh, Gonzalo Bertrano's 50th just holding, just wait, just comes wait. to an end. Lotaro Bazan Velez, an Olympic bronze medalist in yep, sevens, on, please. Wait. comes onto the field. Okay. And changes in the front row too. Sordoni and Gajo making way for Vivas and Bello. A lot of subs out there now. As we get into the last 15 minutes, again, it's Frizzell at the back. Jordy Barrett, nice little pass away, one-hander to Rico Ioani, but he got off, or rather got isolated. And Bruni helped himself. Well, I don't think 
the All Blacks could have done anything better. The line from Rico Yawane was good. He had two cleaners with him. Sometimes a good defender just is too hard to move. And Bruni got there so quickly. He got one arm on the ball. He was on his feet. Really, defence wins the, the, the battle in that degree. I don't think the All Blacks could have changed the way that they did their method. Look at this momentum you're talking about. There's a nice offload. But look at the work from Bruni. I think he's been the best today. From the Puma's been absolutely outstanding. He's been everything. He's defensively, he's been strong. As we've seen here, made a couple of breaks. But this is a beautiful line. It's a number eight. He just got on the ball so quick. Now, here come the cleaners now, Sam Kane. Finley Christie's there, but he got right on the ball, stayed on his feet, and his angle was good. That, that's textbook, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah sometimes you okay? just got to give yeah. credit to really good defence and good nows. That, that, that just showed and explained exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. The All Blacks made a nice run over the advantage line, but they couldn't do anything about it because yep. of that line from Bruni. Well, a little bit of attention for Nico Sanchez. Comes on 97th Test match. He's probably not the, the gifted, silky, smooth player he, he once was. He's had a bit of a tricky last 12 months. I think he was uh, fired mid-season or left stud. Francais ended up at yep. Brieve, so yep. perhaps an okay. unsettled year. OK, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's received got, some hang treatment. On, hang on, Looks hang on. like he's OK. You guys good to go? I'd say Michael yeah. Checker right. and David Kibble okay, will be a lot line. happier in the second half so far. It's only one try apiece. If you break it down like that, yeah, they had a shocker first half. The All Blacks are too ruthless. But I think in the second yeah, just 26 minutes so hard, half so Number far, six black. a lot better. Well, like we hope, they've just been more positive with ball in hand. Sorry, guys, just they hold them at the front. Number away six so substitution. Yes, they've yep. struggled to penetrate and break this all-black defence because it's very resilient and good, but at least they've had the ambition right. to play, and they yeah, look better for Bez. it. Yep. All-black's making a change. How many Shannon guys? Frizzell off six. for Dalton Papali'i. Jersey 20, Frizzell has great effort. Put his hand up. Some excellent line-out work. Strong ball carrying. Good work at the breakdown. Va'i. Knocks the line out ball down. Here's Nutaway. Hasn't had a lot go his way for all the good things that have been going on. Moonga to Barrett. Not a spin in the tackle and offload. That's a little loose. And Artie Savia does such a good job tidying things up. Cody Taylor gets them heading back in the right direction. No, ball was lifted. Play on. And uh, Moonga. Ops to put a high one across to the sunny side of the field. Carreras gets the ball, but he gets Narawa at the same time. Ball back in the hands of the Pumas, though. And it's the Pumas' captain, Ontoja, still out there. Kreevi still to make an appearance. Might be feeling a little bit lonely on the bench now. Here's Sanchez talking of substitutes. Oh, ball, they keep working it through the hands, but Michael Vivas has lost that, and McKenzie has it. And that smothering tackle needed to be made by Carreras. Christie just taking a moment to pick out a runner, and getting up quickly was Matera. Gosh, he, you've got to love his effort in a beaten team. He's doing everything he can to try and energise this team. Guys, going nowhere there. Going backwards, actually. <laughs> Yeah. Well, when you look at it, we've spoken about Argentina yeah. and where they need to improve. This here is Kareem. Kareem on for the captain Montoya. Yeah. But it's equally, up. try to look at the All Blacks in the last 12 minutes of this I test match. Yeah. They've made the shift where they've put McKenzie back to fullback. And Moonga's on. So how do yeah, those two work? Captain. How does their synergy and balance boys, just back here, marry out as they All Blacks look to try and settle on a back line? Yeah, so something off. for us to all look at as to how those two players work together in the last parts of this game. There he is, Agustin Crevi. OK, boys. Most capped player for Argentina, his 98th yeah, test. Please, Been a real role Simple. swap yeah. there. For so long, Montoya played in his shadow. That's OK, because Montoya's just your body first has to 57 be tests, he only started six of them. Because yeah, Crevi was the boss. Now Creevy, okay. a veteran Patience, understudy, please. but a, Is it? a wonderful player. Okay. Okay. All right. All good. Okay. And a good chatter. Okay. Crouch. Crouch. He's been observing from the sideline. He has some messages about the scrum. Set. For Angus Gardner. 
Keep the bind up. Keep the bind up. Bit of scrum from the Pumas too. They were shunted around in the first half by the All Blacks. Moonga puts a little kick in behind. That's a challenging kick too. But coming across was a Carreras. And use it. Coming now for Bazan Velez. 20, 20, leg it now. No. Shape to Sanchez gave him the call. Wide it goes from Sinti. Here is Carreras. He's got sparkling footwork, but he just hasn't found a way through. Advantage. Just that half a metre of space that he needs just hasn't been there today. Referee's playing advantage here to the Pumas. Off goes Matira on another storming run down to halfway. Much better in the second half from the Pumas. Take a release. Savia going and looking for a turnover. Still a penalty advantage. But he's still playing advantage here to Argentina. Carreras, well, tried to step his way. That time past Torma Fassi. But they'll come back. Number 14, just continuing on. Yes, number of penalties so far in the second half for the All Blacks has probably been the reason why they haven't been able to dominate, dominate as they have in that first half. Just wondering. Okay. Possibly that's Carreras down. Let's go, please. He We're going to play on now. I'm very sure of it. A Sam Kane shoulder, and he's not the first to wear one of those shoulders this afternoon. He yep. has really put in the big yards today, Sam black Kane. Substitution. Put his shoulder into a lot of those efforts. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I was watching that too. I saw it. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't late to it. It was just hard. Anyway. Yeah. Take time off there. Just tell, uh, tell Augustine. We've got yep. time off still. We've got time still off. receiving some attention. Just still one try apiece in the second half, so it's been better from Argentina. Okay. Changes made in the All Black team and the knowledge Back. that the game pretty safely in the bag, but they'll still look, surely, to, to finish this one strongly. Oh, up end in the tackle, Sinti. The defence of the All Blacks in midfield's been very good, Turn and that's another good. punishing tackle Leave from it. Sam Kane. And the ball's been turned over. Moonga stabs one through for Mackenzie to get after it. Almost Not grabbed it. <laughs> Nearly. He got a hand to it. Nearly. He just looked you, and saw Mackenzie on the inside for the inside pass to Moonga. He thought it wasn't on because of a defender being there, so he popped it over the top. Mackenzie just needed to sit up a little okay. bit more. Right, look. And unfortunately, just glanced the, the hand. On the so knock on. Okay, let's get the gap oh, a little bit shot. closer and less leaning, please, Bent guys. Okay? Again, Sammy let's Kane. Start. 73rd minute and still chopping them down like that. Oh, uh, yeah. There was all the talk about who was going to sit down having played in the, the Super Rugby final two weeks ago. He really wanted to be on the field for the first test. That's good. Happy. It's good. I think and there's a lot of conjecture for the 6, 7 and 8, wasn't there? I think they've showed up the loose forwards today. Well, Kane and Savia will play the full 80, barring an injury. Got to turn around and head Fine. back to New Zealand for a test match next Saturday at Mount Smart Stadium. Set! Against the Springboks. Reset this match. Oh, and how good with the yeah, box today. Already, already oh, it's going to be spicy. Okay. Yeah. okay, boys. Argentina side, will head to Australia. Combat I need a gap on the bind, Stadium okay? in Sydney. Space, space. And hope for better Let's teams. Go, please. Yeah. And the resumption of the Michael Checker Eddie no, no, no. Jones story. No leaning, please. No leaning. Both teams no leaning and a gap on the bind. Let's go. Fries and barbecues at Mount Smart next Saturday. Is that us, boys? It's good. Sounds like it'll be on the cards. It'll be a big night. Let's go, boys. Springboks, of course, the defending. World Cup winners, they Control your body work, won the please, rugby no championship leaning. in Crouch. 2019, but just set them up for World Cup, World Cup glory. Oh. Oh. Set! Oh. Oh. Well, scrum will be an area that I think Not taking the hit. Yep. Straight Jason down. Ryan and co will be very, very happy about. Nice. Over here. Oh, so many positives. Because there's so many unanswered questions yeah. around that area leading into this game and this test match. And I think the All Blacks have emphatically answered those, whether it be scrum or line-out time.
Well, they've been very good on their own ball or Argentina's ball as well, the All Blacks. Absolutely, you have to be incredibly complimentary. We've said about the faults of Argentina all afternoon straight down. and the yep. problems that they've had within their game, but that's cause and effect. The cause has been how well and proficient and energetic the All Blacks have been. They've been on fire. Their first half, just an absolute wipeout. Gap. Four, gap. And a free kick here. Closing the gap, four. That's the call here. Do they go for a scrum? Do they take a tap? They take a tap. Dalton Papali, he looks eager to get ball in hand. Tupovai, just away to his left, and it's to Vai'i they go. Kane there to clean it out. Laulala. Trying to stride through the tackle. Now Savia hanging on around the ankles was Vivas. They just no, keep it going. No, you're too long. Christie waiting and clears it away. Enor is there. Quick hands. Clark, big step. Back and field. Taken just four short of the line. Winding up for the charges to Ungafasi. He stopped about three short. Lalala with it. Can leave it now. Try to feed it back. Savia has a look. Hands it off. Vai is there. Now Christie. Moonga. Barrett. Short pass away to Kane. They were waiting for him. But they'll work it away to the right again. McKenzie sends it wide. Narawa! He's in! First strike. Oh, what a moment, young man. Congratulations. Your first try oh, in an yeah. all-black jersey. And that's what he's there for. The finisher. And Moni Narawa, he will remember this for a very long time. Build up from the forwards. Good work from them. I'm not sure if we're going to see this pass from Damian McKenzie just to get on the outside right there. Just a bit of space to get the go forward. And from there, Justin Marshall, they just worked. Oh, they certainly did. But the work of McKenzie, we wondered how that balance was going to play out. Well, it played out perfectly. McKenzie made his way across. Mwanga was the first receiver. Hit Sam came short. Damien McKenzie slotted in, cut out pass. Narawa with his speed on debut, Inside. goes over in the corner. Outstanding yep. finish. Well, that, that is a trademark finish yep. from Emone Narawa. He is such a beautifully balanced player. And he's able to do things in tight spaces that are beyond most humans. And I'll tell you what, I think he's earned another start after this performance. He hasn't done anything wrong the first half. A lot of the pill went his way. They gave it to him early. Made some good decisions, but very good defensively as well. Got a lot of early ball, and then it all started going in the other direction, but it's just a matter of time before he crossed the line. Kenzie basking in the late afternoon sunshine sends the kick towards the posts, but away. Conditions for kicking haven't been easy here today, but this was a great finish. Pieces of brilliance, as you said, Justin Marshall from Damian McKenzie. Another try assist for him. How many times that combo worked today, uh, this year? McKenzie to Narawa. Three minutes to play. And Geordie Barrett, who when he's been called on, he's kicked for length very effectively, mixed it up with a few little short ones as well. There's been some nice variations in the back play, Justin. He's been very good, Geordie Barrett. Okay, in fact, he's line, been that good. <laughs> he's man of the match. Thank you. He's chosen by the Argentina crew over there, so thoroughly deserved an absolute perfect segue into that. TJ, I really appreciate it. It's all about timing, Marshy. Well, let's see if they can get their timing right for one more try. Here's Narawa again. He's going to have Carreras on. Makes the tackle. Finished off by Orlando. Well, Barrett taking it at first receiver. Toonga Fussy there right in the middle of the field. Well, they started strongly. And looks like they're finishing strongly too. This has been a very good opening performance in the Rugby Championship of 2023 from the All Blacks. Good hands. Well, initially, it was from Finlay Christie. Richie Moonga a rag goal a bit and uh, concedes a penalty. You think about what they had to do for this test 
New Zealand. I know Argentina's not easy. Players coming in from all over the world, but Ian Foster and co, they had to weigh up workloads coming out of a, a Super Rugby final. The fact that there's a Springbok game the next week. So they had to put a fair bit of thought into their selection. Left a few big names out of the contest. So I, they'd have to be happy with this. And, and never an easy travel, never an easy place to play. And this is a very good Argentinian side that Michael Cech a name on paper very strong and team many of them that have beaten the All Blacks before so it shows you how emphatic the All Black victory has been. Oh can the Pumas advantage. have the final sacred on Donna across number 20 wins the line out playing under advantage too as Creevy just juggled advantage. it a little now the switch Sanchez sending it wide Donna stayed out close to the touch line waiting for it Bello here he is and he plays for Saracens in England and Nothing there. Where you are, mate. Number 20, thrown across at the line out. Well, just up here, up here. Marty Savia. They've got him there and got hands on the ball, but they go back for the penalty. Interesting. They've got so Number much 20, change out of the across. quick tap hey, earlier on because they're. Just be legal here, all right? And that's the end of the game. The set piece has been legal. okay, but it hasn't produced any tries in terms of line out drive, and the scrum's been wobbly all day. The quick tap was the only time that they actually got themselves into a position to be able to score a try. I wonder why they're not going for it again. Good. Gone up. One stop. Plays for the Exeter Chiefs. He wins the line out. Trevi has it in the back. Trevi has it. Oh, he's stretching out. He's scored the veteran hooker in his 98th test match ensures that Argentina will at least have the last say. We can just hear the appreciation from the home crowd for what he means to them, absolute talisman in this Pumas jersey. Thanks He's had the back to see the timing of when he breaks off and gets it down emphatically. Yeah, he's definitely short Thanks and tackled to the ground, but again, you are allowed that one dynamic movement. Of course, that is, that? he reaches out. Yes. Places it down. Okay. Confirmation from Brett Cronin, the TMO, to Angus Gardner. And Augustine Creevy, with all of his experience, he went out on his own. He left his pack behind, but he still managed to execute to perfection. Well, Borfelli has been denied chances to shoot the goal today. All Blacks discipline. For the most part, inside their own half, has been pretty good. Here's the attempted conversion. He can't convert. <laughs> Angus Gardner blows the final whistle in Mendoza. And this is a very good start to World Cup year for the All Blacks. They beat the Pumas in Mendoza by 41 points to 12. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks, boys.